Hi world, it's about 8.39am in the morning, it's Sunday the 25th of June 2017. Three things on the agenda this morning, let's deal with the astrology first. The moon is now in Cancer, it is opposite Pluto as I speak and moving away, moving into square with Uranus over the next 13 or 14 hours. There'll be a void moon much later tonight, UK time for four or five hours, no big deal. Um... Mercury is exactly on the midpoint of the Sun and Mars. Not too worried about that. There is an exact square right now, just in the last couple of hours, from Mars to Jupiter. We're going to start hearing a lot more about Pluto over the coming couple of weeks. And with the Moon opposite Pluto now, Mars coming into opposition to Pluto over the coming two or three days, Mercury coming into opposition in the coming two or three days, and Jupiter completing, finally, it's long going square to Pluto over the coming month or so. We're going to hear a lot about Pluto. So I thought, let's start this process by talking about the positive sides of Pluto. Pluto deals with transformation. Think about that word. Trans, it comes from the Latin meaning across the board, stretching wide, encompassing everything. Form is one's shape. To, uh, an Asian, to, 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 and that it, it involves some type of movement. So if you say transform Asian, it, it involves, invokes a kind of shape shifting, a regeneration, a rebirthing, all good Plutonian words. Pluto purges, detoxes, cleanses, purifies, and eliminates. But it also transforms, regenerates, and rebirths through that process. It is the caterpillar changing into the butterfly, the snake shedding its skin. Uh, the 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 the, the um, phoenix rising from the ashes. So we're going to hear a lot about Pluto in the coming couple of weeks because there's a lot of stuff coming up, and much of it is going to be challenging. But remember, underlying all this, Pluto in Capricorn's main purpose, if you like, is for transformation of the boundaries and structures of government and society. And that all change is good, even if it's painful, because if it weren't change, it would be entropy and decay. In that light, I unveiled my new podcast yesterday and the response has been staggering. I really didn't expect it. So I've had over 500 requests for the podcast. The first 250 have gone out. The second 250 will go out today. I hope big thank you to that one or two percent who actually gave me feedback and even a few contributions. Thank you. That makes all the difference to me. Big thank you for that. You know who you are. There's five or six of you out there who have really. Yeah, you're brilliant. Thanks. And um, yeah, feedback, please. I'll, I'll do some, I'll do another one on that soon. There will be some I'll, I'll promote it in advance this time. So that I'll, I'll, I'll fish for questions. But everyone I know is really happy with it. And it made, what's really nice is that I heard from so many, many, many people via email that I've never heard of, that I never knew existed. A few of you surfaced who have been hiding pine tags on YouTube and fessed up as to your real name or identity. And it's like, wow, thank you. Thank you for everything you've done. And just thank you. I am truly overwhelmed. I'm absolutely gobsmacked by the kind comments that came into me yesterday so thank you all of you people out there who have watched the podcast and who wanted it you're, you're you make a difference to me and hopefully I'll continue to make a difference into the world as a result so thank you now I'm not going to stop saying that otherwise it's going to get vacuous um and then today's if there's an if for today If you could discover one item, one thing from the past that had been forgotten, lost or destroyed and bring it back into the world, what would it be? Would it be the, the notebooks of Nostradamus? Uh, who, who knows what it would be? I know what it would be for me. I would bring back the libraries of Alexandria, the lost libraries of Alexandria, that were destroyed uh, about 50 years before Christ, before 0 AD. Uh, apparently that contained all the knowledge that had been accumulated in the ancient world, and I would love to revisit that. I'd love to go back there and have a look at that. 
Okay, I've got to go and get a lot more podcast stuff out there. So big thank you once again to all you people out there. And I'll see you tomorrow for the week ahead. Have a good day. Moon's opposite Pluto at the moment. It's squaring Uranus for the rest of the day. Uh, Yes, still a good time to be starting new things. Still a good time to be bringing change in a positive way into the world. Transform, regenerate, rebirth. Catch you later, world. Bye.